salamatan ng ating Panginoon for the, this opportunity na tayo ay once again uh, makakapagpuri sa kanya ng sama-sama uh, taawitan siya lakilain siya, sambayin siya sa pumagitan ng ating mga uh, awitin sa kanya, hallelujah samahan niya po ako sa Psalm 63, hallelujah you God are my God, earnestly I seek you I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of food. With seeing lips, my, li my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Hallelujah. Atin pong sama-sama. Awitan na ating mga siya na magandang awitin. Hindi lang mag sa pamagitan na ating mga labi. But awitan natin siya sa talagang mumula sa ating mga puso. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I search the world But it couldn't feel me My sense is great My treasures fade I'm never enough Then you came along And put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, yeah. oh there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Amen. I'm not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and flaws. Lord, you've seen them all. Still call me friend, cause the God of the mountain. Is the God of the valley. If there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again. Oh, yeah, Lord, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you, Lord, there's nothing.
sing You give beauty for ashes You turn shame into glory You're the only one who cares You turn things into darkness You turn bones into armies You turn tears into highways You're the We 
I will worship you. I will worship. I will worship you. Jesus, I believe in you. And Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that I live. The reason that I sing. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I belong to you. You're the reason that. you glorify your name of the Lord hallelujah 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 we thank you Lord for this day Panginoon for the opportunity oh God na kami sama-sama Lord na magpuri sa mga basayo Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng aming mga awitin oh Lord na aming inalay sa iyo oh God na may naging pleasing aroma ito Panginoon sa iyo oh Lord at na Panginoon ay Patuloy ka namin makasama, Panginoon, sa purong gawain po namin, Panginoon, purong duration na aming gawain. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong kabutihan, sa iyong faithfulness, O oh Lord, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Panginoon. O oh Lord, na patuloy mo kami binibless, Panginoon, ng mga good things, Panginoon, O oh Lord. Maraming salamat, O oh Lord, sa bawat uh, pagkakataon, Panginoon, ikaw yung naaming nararanasan, Panginoon, sa hirap man, Panginoon, sa ginhawa, O oh Lord, kayo, Panginoon, yung ang patuloy namin. Um, papapurihan pa sa salamat at pangidadakilain to ibilong on the glory and honor and praise my name Jesus we pray Amen This month uh, the, the theme uh, is uh, Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd uh, makikita sa John chapter uh, 10 verse 11 okay. uh, Before uh, we continue uh, let's put ourselves in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, Desal po tayo. Heavenly Father, Lord of Lord, Kings of Kings, Lord, Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for this moment and another opportunity, Lord, that we can have a fellowship with you and we can hear your uh, voice, Lord, and your message. Lord. And, uh, uh, today, Lord, kung ano man mga, mga burdens na dinadala sa puso namin, Lord, Lord, uh, itaas namin sa you, Lord, so that we could focus on you, Lord. We know, Lord, that you are bigger than our problems or circumstances, Lord. Uh, today, Lord, uh, we pray, Lord, for your divine wisdom, Lord, so that we may understand, Lord, sa mga uh, gusto mo i- uh, message na iparating sa amin, Lord. And Lord, use me, Lord, uh, as we uh, as I shared uh, your message, Lord. Itago mo sa yung likuran na ikaw lang ang magpupuri nila, magkikita nila. And uh, Lord, uh, reveal your love to us today, Lord. In this we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Um, last uh, Friday, uh, si um, ating uh, pastor, si Pas Atoni, uh, he shared uh, the same uh, the same concept uh, from the book of Jeremiah 23, verse 1 to 6. Okay. The shepherd who is courageous, vigilant over the flock, and selflessly walk distances to ensure that the flock has something to eat. So, uh, as you remember, yung insight ni Pas Anthony that uh, uh, he is revealing the uh, Jesus qualities as a good shepherd. And today, we focus on Jesus Christ. Why? Sa time ngayon, uh, lalo na sa Pilipinas, um, may Delta variant na. Uh, kumakalat and which uh, uh, most of this virus uh, nakakos ng fear sa ating mga kababayan. Especially uh, uh, hindi lang fear uh, uh, confusion or uh, damages din. Eh, sa amin nga, uh, 
may supposed to be we have a flight this uh, August 23 uh, sa pagbakasyon namin sa Pilipinas. And fortunately, pag-check namin sa Philippine Airline, wala pa wala pa schedule but the uh, uh, yung ticket namin still active and uh, we're, we're not expecting it na mag, maging uh, matuloy yon but uh, i changed my plans we changed our plans uh, magstay lang muna dito as as soon as ma okay na yung situation sa Pilipinas okay. it's not only the the virus okay financial crisis uh, marami mga, mga kababayan natin o mga, mga, mga friends, loved ones na nakaproblema sa financial uh, uh, any financial uh, concern. So, sa panahon ngayon uh, we need the financial uh, breakthrough. And uh, sa experience ko for the past few uh, weeks uh, mga, mga, mga kaibigan o mga relatives sa Pilipinas ayun nag nag nag, uh, nag hingi ng tulong and uh, uh, because we uh, because we know that na grabe ang impact itong uh, situation uh, sa Pilipinas but what the lord has reminded us uh, in spite of these uh, uh, circumstances uh, itong itong mga mga financial uh, problems concerns pain sa ating puso, uh, sickness or illness. Okay. The Lord remind us that we should focus on Jesus Christ on these trying times. Jesus give us an assurance that we can trust Him. Okay. It's because uh, on this on this uh, verses, uh, I mean this text, um, uh, sinasabi niya na he is compared as a good shepherd. Ano ba yung good shepherd? Um, Beth, can I share the PowerPoint? Is it active? Yung sharing? Yes, Kuya. Uh, no. Ay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so... A number of ways Christ is the good shepherd. Uh, let's open our Bible in the book of uh, John chapter 10, 11 to 18. Okay. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a harling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scattered, scatters them. The harling flees because he is a harling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I know and, and I and am known my own. As the father knows me, even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep. I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will fear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. 17. Therefore my father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commands I have received from my father. And then the ritual ties at 25. Jesus answered them, I told you and do not believe that the word, the works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. And I said to you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and neither shall anyone snatch them, them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. And my Father are 
and my father are one. Amen. Praise to God for this uh, uh, word. So, sinabi dito ni Jesus, uh, you can trust him. You can put completely trust him because sinatulad siya as a good shepherd. Okay? Dito, i-describe ng texts dito, verses dito, kung ano ang good shepherd. Okay? Sa mga sa ating mga situation natin, sa financial problem natin, or pain sa puso natin, or uh, sickness, illness, we can give our trust to the Lord. Okay? First, ano mga ways na uh, Christ is the Good Shepherd? So, titignan natin bakit siya itinawag siya, bakit sinabi ni Lord, I am a Good Shepherd. Sinabi niya sa mga uh, disciples sa mga uh, mga in the crowd on that time. Those shepherd sa, sa, sa new Old Testament or New Testament or old generation yan but still applicable today. Lalo na tayo dito sa taga Saudi and nakakita naman kumakain naman kayo ng lamb, nakakita naman kayo ng shepherd. Let's say nagpupunta kayo sa papunta ng Riyadh or uh, uh, Al-Hasa, nakikita nyo mga sheeps doon. Okay, and uh, the Lord used this uh, analogy or uh, this uh, description. First, Christ has received you as a gift from the Father. Okay? Sabi kanina sa John 10, 29, uh, uh, nabasa natin kanina, My Father who has given to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Christ has received you as a gift from my Father. Christ's sheep are the gift that He received from the Father. Sheep. Bakit? Ang, ang, ang sheep dito ay tayo. Okay. Ba- bakit bakit natulad tayo sa sheep? Okay. Sheep are vulnerable. Sheeps are defenseless. Marami para sa internet kung makikita mo, may mga may mga term na sila na hindi maganda na like sheep are like stupid. They need guidance, they need care. Okay? Uh, sheeps are uh, uh, prone to wonder. Okay? So, ito din describe tayo. Sa so, that time sa generation ni Jesus Christ, yung mga crowd now, how would you know if you are ones of Christ's sheep? Ano malaman na ikaw nasa pader ka ng Panginoon, nasa, nasa flock ka ng Panginoon? Okay. Kanina, balikan natin yung mga verses. The identifying marks of Christ's sheep are clearly stated. Uh, 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So, kaya nasabi kanina, ang mga ships ay tayo. Tayo mga believers. Okay? We know that we are ships because we are the believers of Christ. Jesus said earlier, before that one, sa 26, you do not believe because you are not among my ship. Kung hindi ka believer kay Jesus Christ, then you are not one of his ship. So, it follows the believing in the... Uh, this kissing mark of the sheep given to the Son by the Father. So, tayo, binigay ng Father kay Jesus Christ. And if you believe and follow Jesus Christ, and then we are called sheep. Second, Christ knows you completely. Again, sa Verse 14 to 15, sinabi doon, I am the good shepherd, I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and know the Father. Minsan tayo, di natin kilala sarili natin, may, may, may times na may mystery tayo. If kilala natin sarili natin, but uh, 
uh, maybe not 100%, only God, only Jesus Christ knows us. Even the numbers of yung mga hair natin, alam niya mga exact bilang niya. He knows our moods, temperament, weaknesses, ano na kapag lift up sa atin. In Psalms uh, 103, verse 14, the Lord knows our frame. So there's nothing uh, we can hide from the Lord. He knows everything. Okay. The good part is, kung kilala tayo ng Panginoon, it means that He could, He can lead us effectively. We are His ships. If we follow and obey Jesus Christ, because He knows us completely, alam, we could trust uh, sa Kanyang leading sa ating buhay. Kung ano man na nangyayari natin sa situation ngayon, crisis natin ngayon, let's put our trust to Him. He will lead us. Okay. We pray for our, we will pray for guidance and wisdom. Alam niya, alam niya kung anong na, uh, alam ni Lord Jesus kung ano ang ang pan natin ngayon. Uh, ang renasa ngayon. Ano, anong, anong situation natin ngayon. Alam niya. Alam niya lahat. Okay. Alam niya lahat na na aabot ka time na ganitong situation na Lord, di ko na kaya Lord. Sa, lahat, sa mga daming problema. Especially ngayon sa daming mga, mga circumstances ngayon. But the Lord, the Lord Christ knows you completely. So that's the joy part. Na since kilala na siya, ah, kilala tayo niya, hundred percent. We can we can trust him sa kanyang leading sa atin sa buhay, buhay natin. Third is Christ gave himself for you. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. Because, because of his love, of the Father's love, Satan, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. So if it, the Lord, uh, it, it is already prophesied that the Lord Christ died for us. Wala siya kasalanan. He's, he's blameless. Okay? But he, he, he sacrificed himself para sa atin. Remember mo sa Old Testament, sa Old Generation, when, uh, when uh, uh, Isaac or sila Abraham and they, they uh, gave sacrifices uh, sa, sa, sa the Father, they put lamb, sheep, sacrifice. Pero ngayon, baliktad niya sa, sa time natin, sa new generation. Si Jesus Christ become the lamb as a sacrifice and the Father. Everything Jesus endured in his passion was for us. When he gave himself into the hands of uh, Romans that time, in the Garden of Gethsemane, it was for us. Para pala sa atin yun. When he was Scorched and beaten, it was for us. And he was condemned to death, it was for us. So when we hung, when he hung in the cross in agony, para pala sa atin yon. Instead, tayo dapat ilagay doon sa cross. Pero God uh, chose Jesus Christ to die for us. Jesus accomplished everything he had come to do and he gave himself into death. Na-accomplish ni Lord ang, ang mga pinapagawa sa Diyos na niyulugan the Father sa Kanya on that time, on those uh, times. So since we know that Christ gave himself for us, so may confidence na tayo. We have this confidence we have this strength na galing kay Lord na kakayanin natin itong mga situation natin sa buhay. 
Kaya natin, mga patid. Kaya natin ito. Ngayon, we, uh, I remember last December, we are hoping na yung narinig natin na may may vaccine okay. uh, yung, uh, during uh, that Christmas. Uh, parating na vaccine in the year 2021. We are hoping, expecting that the year 21 will be fine, will be okay. So, sa ngayon, hindi lang, hindi lang may uh, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, uh, vaccine para masolve uh, itong problem. Meron din dumating ng mga any variants ng mga viruses which which uh, uh, mga scientists they are still on the study how to fight this one. Okay. They were they were hoping that this uh, mga vaccine natin um, could hundred uh, percently uh, help sa, sa, sa virus nito. But in any regardless na, sa na nangyari um, sa sa Pilipinas na karon continuous pa rin nagkaroon ng lockdown, economy, always rin naapektuhan. Siguro, I think, most of our uh, loved ones, friends, kababayans, mga savings lang, nahubos na. And so many, pa talaga, crisis situations talaga ang nangyayari. For us here in Saudi Arabia, we're still, we are blessed na may trabaho tayo, but we continue to trust God and to continue to to share the love of God sa ating mga kababayan, sa ating mga kaibigan sa Pilipinas, or sa ating mga loved ones. Tayo mga nakakilala sa Panginoon. We know that this number three, Christ gave Himself to us. We know that this truth, uh, uh, ang Panginoon died for us. We can share this uh, message sa ating mga, sa ating mga loved ones na, or sa mga friends natin na, na experience ng 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 down sa panahon ngayon and wala sila mga ibang mapuntahan kundi ang kailangan lang nila dapat nila malaman na si Jesus Christ is the only solution sa uh, sa, sa itong mga situation sa itong trials yung mga finances, mga healing tarating yan but first, look up to Jesus okay, number four Christ called you and brought you to Himself. Okay, so balikan natin sa 16, John 10, 16. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. He called His sheep by name and lead, uh, lead them up. Mabasahin natin sa John 10, uh, 3. The sheep who are called by in name uh, are the same sheep that enter the door. Makikita sa John chapter 10 verse 9. And Jesus said, I am the door, Christ is the door, and if anyone enters by the door, he will be saved. Okay. Christ called you and brought you to himself. May isang uh, uh, story uh, Yung, yung, yung isang tao lumakbay and nakita niya isang bata, a shepherd boy. Sabi niya, shepherd boy. Di mo ba napansin na yung mga ships mo, ang, ang iba na nanaligaw na, nawawala na? Kaya, hindi. Napapansin mo ba, uh, alam mo ba kung ilang ba ships mo? Sabi ng bata, hindi. So, paano mo nalaman na, na um, uh, nawawala pa ng mga ships mo? Yeah, hindi ko kaya sila ibilang. Pero, kilala ko sila. Lahat sila, may, may uniqueness. May, may mga pangalan ako sa kanila. Uh, may, sila mga ships, may mga pangalan sila. So, kung malaman ko siya, hanap, uh, pag check ko yung mga pangalan, malalaman ko siya, kung sino nawawala, hahanapin ko. Alam ko, itong ship na to, madalas dito tumatakbo kasi nag- uh, itong another ship, alam ko dito madalas pumupunta, tumahanap ko sila. What 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 this 
uh, story or message means that the Lord's know us even by name. Kasi kanina, sinabi ni Lord, He knows us uh, completely. As a shepherd, compared to the shepherd, He knows us by name. So, when we got lost, siya mismo, si Lord mismo, ay magdadala balik sa flock, balik sa kanya. When, 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 uh, when some of our churchmates or uh, mga, mga kapatid na, na, na invite sa atin, okay, uh, uh, remind sa atin na bumalik sa church or bumalik sa pag, pag serve the Lord or worship the Lord or, or makinig sa Panginoon, or if one of our brothers and sisters nag-share ng mga gospel sa other, other uh, uh, people, it is the Lord who called you. Hindi hindi naghintay si Lord na na pupunta ka sa kanya. Siya mismo pupunta hahanapin ka. Kani naharap niya yung mga na, na, nawawala, na lost. So he use uh, of course he use mga mga anak niya na tayo to invite, to to remind, to encourage other people or other other uh, uh, mga kapatid natin back to the Lord. Sa times ngayon, um, sa situation ngayon, sa, sa new normal ngayon, dahil sa, dahil sa social distancing, dahil sa, sa, sa ibang klaseng na lifestyle, uh, there, are, there are temptation na, na, na nawawala na tayo sa Panginoon. I mean, ang focus natin sa Panginoon, it's uh, fading. And the Lord remind us that we, as a mga anak niya, to continue to to encourage others, okay? Because the Lord said that I call you and brought you back. Pagbig sabi nai, yung mga kapatid natin na wala, it is is uh, the Lord's initiative na siya ang ang pull back sa mga kapatid natin na, na nawawala bak sa kanya. So, Jesus Christ uh, just just always take uh, first action because He first loves us because He loves us. He makes sure that uh, nobody can snatch out on His hand. Number five, Christ wala yung number 5 ah. Number 5, uh, Christ owns you and will never abandon you. So balikan natin ang verses, John chapter 10 verse 14. Then again 27, I am the good shepherd, I know my own and my own know me, my sheep hear my voice. Okay. I know my own and my own know me. Own Anong difference sa sa good shepherd and a shepherd na na na, na kontraktual lang trabaho or na hard lang? If that shepherd is uh, uh, hardling or uh, he, he was hard to do the job for shepherding, um, wala sa kanyang 100% na, na care or concern sa mga ships. If dumating yung mga wolves, he cannot protect 100% kasi siyempre, sabi niya, bakit ako ma, 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 masasaktan o ma, ma, makagat ng wolves? Uh, and, uh, these are just uh, ships and it's not my own. Diba? And uh, a hard person who's doing the job because hindi niya sa kanya, hindi niya own, hindi niya completely maalagaan. Katulad lang sa mga 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 kotse na company car, napapansin mo yung mga ibang lahi eh copy mo sa Pilipino. Okay. Usually ang mga uh, hindi nila masyadong alagaan kasi sa company car lang yan. What if uh, he bought the car? 100% na hindi niya i-allow na magasgasan or ma-scratch ang kanyang sasakyan. So, 
this analogy, this uh, description by Jesus Christ, na he said that he, I know my own and my own knows me. He knows us. So he, uh, because because consider tayo na, na, na his own, then we are sure 100% na ah, alagaan tayo Man, he will protect us. He will care us, uh, care for us, and he will even. He mentioned that he gave his life to us. So, nakapagandang uh, uh, description to na si Jesus Christ. Uh, he he own us. So, hindi siya willing na ay allow na there are um, things na nakakaharm sa atin. Di niya haya na yung yung mga situation na financial problems illness, those things will destroy us. Hindi niya hayaan yun. That's why we can put completely trust on him. Hindi niya hayaan na um, ito mga circumstances will destroy us. Okay. He believe, we believe that he will fight for us. He will not forsake us. He will not abandon us. Okay. Number six is Christ gave you internal life. I give them internal life. So, makita natin sa verse 28. And they will never perish. Jesus did not say, I will give the, them internal life at some time in the future. He doesn't say that. He says, I give them internal life. If Christ is your shepherd, this precious gift of eternal life is already yours. And Notice the word give. Okay. In other words, uh, we did not earn this one, this priceless gift. Eternal life is freely given by the shepherd and freely received by his sheep. Simply because the shepherd is the shepherd and we are the sheep. The life Jesus gave us internal, eternal life is uh, never and so, ang, 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 itong precious gift na binibigay sa, sa atin ng Lord. So, it's a, a, it's a, it's a magandang truth na to. Kaya, we should not be worried about the future. We should not worry about our life. Kung ano man mga situations, circumstances. 10 years from now, 20 years from now. As long as Jesus is our shepherd, hindi tayo mag- uh, we we should have uh, we could have uh, we should have confidence with him uh, sa, or in trust ang life natin sa kanya. Lastly is Christ guards you and will keep you forever. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to uh, snatch them out of the Father's hand. So magandang pakinggan tong na verse. As long as we are with Jesus Christ, no one is able to snatch. No enemy could destroy us. No one will who, uh, will uh, against us. Pagdadyan si Lord sa ating buhay. So what reasons pa na tayo natatakot, uh, napapanik, uh, lahat ng mga, mga negative things sa buhay, I mean, wala lang yan because, because sabi ni Lord, no one, no one will destroy you. Even the enemy, uh, powerful ang enemy kaysa sa atin, no one will destroy us. He may use the sickness, illness, financial uh, problems, relationship uh, destruction, yung mga lies, deceive. O ano mang ginagawa ng enemy ngayon sa ating buhay. Huwag tayo matakot. Because the Lord is there. So these are the seven descriptions. Uh, the Lord is considered, I mean, Jesus Christ is considered our uh, 
shepherd, a good shepherd, that he lay his life to us. So, mga kapatid, mga brothers and sisters, do not fear. Okay, let's continue to to trust our lives sa Panginoon. Kung ano man ang situation na na-experience natin ngayon, we keep on praying, we keep on trusting Him. And I believe na lahat na mga situation nito, at the end of the day, tayo ang nag-victory. Because the Lord has said, I already conquered. His, the victory is already His. And that's all. And uh, God bless you all. And have a nice day. Uh, let's close. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you, Lord, for your message. Lord, thank you for uh, uh, your revealing love, Sam and Lord. Thank you, Lord, uh, uh, for this reminder na ikaw pala ang aming uh, solution sa may mga lahat mga uh, uh, different circumstances or situations sa ating buhay, Lord. As you said, Lord, that you are a good shepherd, Lord. We believe, Lord, that you will not abandon us, forsake us. You will protect us from any harm's way, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to continue for protection, Lord, against this illness, against enemy threat, enemy uh, this, uh, attack, Lord. Uh, in emotion, naman, Lord, physically, or uh, I mean, uh, physically, Lord, or any. Or financially, Lord, any that could uh, attack us, Lord, we pray, Lord, that uh, we ask you, Lord, to to protect us, Lord, uh, every day sa aming buhay, Lord. And, Lord, uh, uh, for this past, uh, for this coming few days, Lord, we trust our lives, say, Lord, we pray for your uh, discerning, Lord, and we pray for your leading sa aming buhay, Lord. In this we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen.